Today I'm going to do drawing in my life <laughs> of, up to recently, you know, for YouTube. Now, from the beginning, as much as I can remember. Okay, um, start. Sorry, I'm not the best drawer, but you know. I lived with, when I was young, with my mum. So, best as I say, me, of course. With my granddad, my gran, my two uncles. And I didn't have a father, I didn't know about him, I don't know him to this day, who he is, so I never had a dad. And live with my mum and my granddad and my uncles and sort of things, all up to the days they left home. And um, school, um, uh, school life, um, should I say, start. Um, school was up the road from me. And... and I didn't really personally remember much about the school, except um, probably about there's one teach one was she was actually a helper called Mrs Shepherd. But um, yeah, I know you remember her, and she made me when I was little a little book called the called Box Stephen's Box I think it was called. As a little to learn, help me le learn to read, and I had some better with a couple of friends like an old one called Simon and some other people. And I, all I can remember is that Mrs. Shepherd used to help me read. I'm going to try and do a chair, a table, me eating, try and get it right corn on the cob as for my dinner. Um I do remember once I do remember nursery a little bit and I think this is I'll put the little nursery hut here. Nursery or play school one or two this pen's useless. That's when that, that's what happens when you buy pound shop pens or ninety nine. Um I remember once I think it was like a summer faint sort of thing having a fire engine. Fire brigade there. And there was a lady, the main person that used to run the nursery was a friend of my mum's. Mum used to help there as well, go there and look after children as well. Um, really? Yeah, she did. She used to help up when I did. And I uh, used to go there. What happened with me at this school is I got, well, not a spell really, but at the day uh, they said I was... I was naughty. I did things what didn't happen. I posed to bit a lady, one of the dinner ladies, and she come to my house and said she actually lived down the road from me, and said Stephen didn't bite my hand. So what happened then? I left that school up the road, and I went to a place. One, it was only once a week, only once a week, for about two hours, to be old, really old fashioned building, like a manor house. And I remember there was a big monkey puzzle tree in the yard. And I had to go up a, like nearly two flights of stairs to this really if you walked up the stairs it used to echo to go into a little small room with a couple of people and I remember there was a room there was when you got to the top level there was a big classroom I do it like this a big there's a the stairs do it like that you don't, you can't do it good. there was a big classroom a little room where you used to have a printer a photocopier and my room I remember going there and then halfway through the day, well a couple of hours or hour or so, 
we used to go to out of my classroom into this bigger room and we used to watch um, come outside Aunt Mabel and Pippin every time I used to go there and the teacher I can't remember my actual teacher in my classroom there but I remember the teacher uh, was named Mrs Potter and you remember once going to on the train from this place to a place called Wellington now I'm thinking about how, where did I get a train from where I lived from this place to Wellington I don't remember it is in Wellington I'm thinking how I got from Wellington to there you got from to on a train yes I don't know and we went there for a trip to go and get some goldfish and we got I'll put a little I'm not very good at this yeah some goldfish there's a little fish bowl Put a little fish in there we bought a couple of goldfish and we bought a sucking not a sucking well a weather loach I remember going back one day and they left on the Friday for you know for people who leave school don't they on Friday and they come back on the Monday and the fish that sucking roach was on the floor and it was still alive But actually, f um, weather loaches can live out of water for so long. Oh. And as well as me going to here, and in this place, I would a lady would pick me up. Her name was so uh, a nice, very nice lady. Two nice ladies who'd pick me up in a car, take me to this place, and we used to sing some. We used to go. This is it. Used, where we used to go to the place, it's still here today, there's a wall, and it's got different colours on the wall. And every time we used to go past it in the car, with this lady in the car, I also used to sing red and yellow and pink and green, the rainbow song, because it looked as a, like a rainbow. Is that on the motorway? What? Is that on the motorway? Yeah. And, and she, used, she used to have in a car, and very popular in the day, and this would be in the 90s of course. They, they used to have little, some little hats, things, little face on them. You used to hang them in, in the front of the window, and used to put a pin in them, and used to make the, the car smell. And I remember once, I said, I want that. When it, and she said, you can have him when you, when he stops smelling. She gave it me as a present because I liked him. I think his name was George. The uh, little green thing was <laughs> very popular in the nineties. There was these little things for the cars, and she gave it me. As well as I used to go to this place, I went to somewhere else, a mother school, a mother day of the week, for for one day as well. In um, I can't remember teacher, but I, there was a girl there. I, I don't know, I was quite young at the time, I, I sort of liked her, I used to talk to her a lot and they was, I don't know how the, the class were at them days, but they moved with their teacher up a level, they didn't actually, the teacher didn't stay in the same class, they, she moved up with the children, what was quite, quite nice, but I never went to there. So I did this for 12 months, 2 years or more, then I went to a permanent school and called Selfall and matter of fact my parent my mum and mum my two uncles went to that school as well so I went to Selfall that's like the wall little gate so I'm just doing that and that's the classroom we went to one class, which was class two. I was there for a couple of months or so, I can remember. And the teacher, I remember, was called Mrs. Widger. Miss Widger, something like that. And then I moved to class three, like this, probably going on to the next term in the sense of the summer holidays. And I moved to class three, and Miss Porteous, her name was as teacher, and we 
went on trips. We went to um, went to a house once, and she had a big greenhouse, and in the greenhouse she had a pond with fish. She did, and went to her house, and at the time over these, I did like Christmas. Stuff like that. I can't remember which my first Christmas play I was one of the wise men not that wise much now but you know and I remember what I'm saying if you do not get your lines right it wasn't I could they should have given me the easy one like gold but they give me frankincense or myrrh so if they give me gold, I probably would have, re you know, remembered it more. And then this, where we used to wait. What did they, what did they say? You said, what were they saying? Said if you don't get your uh, line light, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a part. Right, light, yeah. Yeah. And we used to wait in because this, where the other lower classes, class one, class two, class three, was in one separate part of the school. And we used to wait in this part where they were the classrooms, a little library as well, and we used to have books. I remember there used to be, back in the day, really, really, and I mean really, old fashioned, and I mean old fashioned computers. Where they had black and red keyboards and um, keys. And it had floppy disks about that shape, with a hole like that, with a hole like that, and they used to go into the machine. And they used to be in this part of the school. And that was them, that's really old floppy disks, and the really old computers. Then I moved up a bit to another class. And I was there about a year or so, and I went to another class where I'm actually, it was his first year at our school, was um, a new teacher called Mr. Chatter. So I've got a funny name, but you know. And Mr. Chatter was new, it was his first year at this school, and Mr. Chatter... I had a beard and a moustache, <laughs> and he used to bring in his guitar. So it's not the best picture of guitar, and he used to play music to us, as well as he used to read some of my favourite stories, um, Roald Dolph. Now I think the first ever Roald Dolph he think he might have read to us was. The Twits. Well, I love the Roald Dolphin and he read then the BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and some other stories as well. And when I was in Mr. Chatter's class, we used to do every morning, we used to go outside and we used to have a little walk on the door, and we used to take the reading to the temperature. And in that classroom we used to have a little pie chart of the temperature for each month and each season. So we used to do that in Mr Chatter's class every day. Every day. And he used to bring in, uh, for the two years I was with him, he used to bring in chickens, well eggs matter of fact. And we used to match them because he had chickens at home he had so he could get fertilized eggs so every couple of them two years we used to have chickens in the school classroom and um i had some friends i met one of my friends called carl in in that class and we used to sit in a nice comfy place with nice really soft set really nice chairs but may i say dusty as hell yeah Carl and um, 
Carl, from this year on, he went, he moved away to New Zealand. So on, I went upper class to the second, the second the class six for the third year in a sense. Carl was in New Zealand, so I didn't have that sort of a friend then. But some of the friends from that class was in there as well. As well as I had a nice friend called Cheryl. And she moved away because of reasons. I've realised recently why she moved away and she told me it's because she moved her foster parent um wanted her to move to a different school because it wasn't good enough for her, so she moved. So um I am I'm not gonna tell you too much but it's obviously a bit more at school is a bit as well. Um I always went on holiday with my with my mum. And my gran and my granddad in a caravan in Wales, and um, we have lots of friends there. I met my friend Rosie, and she, I met Rosie because I got lost on the beach. <laughs> Got lost on the beach. Yeah. <coughs> and she was on me about three caravans away from me, so she knew I sort of my her mom knew who I was, sort of knew who I was. So she took me back to the caravan. Because I was lost. So, we always went there on holiday. I, I took, when I was, about game 20, 2000, not 2005. About, the date on there? About 90, about 90. 92 or something like that. I can't even write 90s now, because it's, about 92, 93, we got myself a, we had us, we've got, we've got a dog already, but we had a, Puppy called Sam. The dog lady. Lady. Oh. And we used to take him on the beach for walks. You know, we take on the beach is to drive here. Yeah. <coughs> so we had Sam and we've got cats, birds at the time. And then we had fun like that. There's not much special. From this date until this other date, really. I'll carry on up school and met with my friends and people. Um, sad part. Yeah, sad part, man. And... Free for now, food. <laughs> no. 1997. My... Gran... Passed away with heart problems. She had heart problems all, well, since I was little anyway, so... <coughs> so we had... They didn't tell them that they didn't tell you either. What? They didn't tell you, did they? Tell me about what? Well, she passed away, didn't she? Yeah, I knew she was dead because I was lying in bed and I heard them crying. Oh, uh, well, <coughs> they didn't tell uh, you, did they? Yeah, of course they did. Oh. I can't remember <laughs> what I reacted, but I know I didn't cry. Hey, it wouldn't we? Really, you know, we probably, probably knew it was going to happen sometime. Well, not <coughs> when I was about was about eight years old. Get them to nine. <laughs> okay, anyway. And um what was I gonna say? I don't know. From that ninety two to this point, um we my grandfather recorded most of the things that happened, like well, Christmas. Now. We lost it. You got the T V D anyway, so don't worry. T V. You got the video so you didn't carry on. You got a disc, don't we? Mix got them, yeah. You did carry on some. I know where they are though. Upstairs. That's right then. Carry on. And um. <laughs> Good, I thought I lost it forever. Uh, I was going to say something. What was it? You're carrying on recording. Recording things like up to the date of this. Yeah. So we've got memories like that. That's it. That was it. Well, it was, it was a good thing that happened this year. But don't forget we had Princess Diana die this year, including the Titanic song as well. The movie. I love that film anyway. 
There's lots of films in this period of times I love. And there'll be one. That might be something special. I might do something like that later on. And <clears throat> then... A year, maybe. 90, I know I know. My birthday? Burn the first. Then, 98. What was the birth of me, of course? Then, I... I don't remember being said. I don't know if it was dumb or dame, whatever the case is. <coughs> I've got told that I've got a baby cousin. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> oh no, just do like that. Looks like a shopping trolley, but my first it. cousin, Adam. Which is me. Yeah. I'm the oldest one. Yeah. I'm the so one. um, it <coughs> was my grandmother loved to sing Adam, but Adam never knew her, of course. So um, then the you know got to know him. Where's that? And the baby. Have you ever thought about that? If he would have died at latest, he might be in more pain than he did earlier. Dying earlier. If you're thinking about it. Carry on, but I have to get after. Yeah, and... <coughs> Twelve months later... Another one comes down the line. <laughs> Named James. Named James. Which nobody does know about. Yeah. What well, is still a baby. In many ways, he's still a baby. Then, that would have been 99. Yeah. Then the Elenium come. Now it's coming to be up, coming to be well, yeah. on the end. <laughs> uh, things are changing. 90s are gone forever. Things are going to change. Then I'm coming up to really now to say 2003. I'm probably still walk. 2000. Sad year, probably too much. I was born yet. Three. I got born because there's nobody here with me. Because any of you are three. 2003, I was last year at school. So I uh, say. That's like a leaving cap, but I didn't have a leaving cap really. I just had a book. Graduate, you don't with it. Uh, yes, yeah, so still, still, still got a book. Yeah, I know you never went to. Um, I'm just doing that. I know that. I'm just doing it like that. Yes, I know. I know that. <sighs> then I left school for a big holiday. Because it was. How long was that? What? How long was that holiday? Which is big perks do you think you got you only got you got your six weeks anyway. Yeah, but you got no you haven't got to school again. Then I uh, went on a big holiday, not on what way abroad, I went to the caravan, it was as you did, always did. Even when my grand wasn't there, we carried on going to the caravan. With our friends. Why did you stop going? Is it the same? What do you mean? Did you stop going to me? He, well, because it's memories and stuff. And went to college to a place called TCAT with my best, 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 because my friend Carl come back a year late, six months later from New Zealand. So we went to college together. And I never. As long as I went to school, I never went public transport. I got took on a private buses. So I got from 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 a place taking me to the place to get me on transport. So me and my friend Carl, we worked together and we got places. And we did, we had 12 months of really goodness in TCAT. We had better than some people because um, we we did four days work, four days of um, study, if you want to call it studying. Tuesday off, Friday was half day for one lesson. 
two lessons officially, but we had one we had one lesson off because it was something we didn't want to do. Exercise. <laughs> and it wasn't but just because of that because of um the year two thousand and five maybe. Two thousand and five I did a second year at TCAT. Two thousand and four. Oh yeah. Two thousand and four I did another year at TCAT. In a different group with different people, different style of teaching, different level. And that went dreadful because I um, not skived off, but I sort of did because it was just so boring. It wasn't. Yeah, you moaned at me for walking out of school one, one day. No, but that what, was different. Hour earlier. <laughs> Yeah, but the point, the principle was I was going to do from a lesson from one o'clock to four o'clock with no breaks at all. As well as the chi the main tutor was a wicked old cow and she was miserable. So we're talking then, it was getting on to 2006. I went to a different college and I met up. And this was an agriculture college with animals, cows, sheep, my mum. <laughs> no, joking with my mum. Um, and I met my best friend called... I met up with some old friends as well. Some friends I haven't seen since school. And they, because they lived in a different county. Because my school was... People just... Because it was disability people we was. We had special needs and stuff like that. I wasn't so bad as per to a lot of people there. And a lot of people lived outside the county. So they went to this college instead of the local county, local college. So I met with my friend Natalie Roberts. And I met um, my friend called Sarah. What was come to be someone part of my life for a short time. But a short time of hell. And I did a year in T. I did, a I did a year in Walford with my and there's this great guy called Alid. I couldn't pronounce his name at first. There was this girl called Trish and she was a friend from my school back years going back when she she was quite young as well, young. She was younger than me. She said, You should gotta meet this, you gotta meet Alid. I was pronouncing it for a long time, David. Like David Thomas from Little Britain. And then he was mentioned, he was, we didn't mean to mention, he was all, all the time mentioning Doctor Who. <coughs> and I was hooked on Doctor Who at the time. <coughs> so we got addicted to Doctor Who, we was talking about Doctor Who. And this would have been about season two of Doctor Who. Getting on to um, 2006. No, no, I think, it, yes, it would have been two, season two. We spent more time in season three talking about things, more than season two. Oh, I'll yeah. it. Here it is. Enter that, you're now. Um, really good idea. Going back to 2007, I mean, I left Walford. I was going to do a second term, but problems with buses and things to do here. I couldn't make a third, I couldn't make a second year, so luckily on the last day of the first term, and because it, it was running up to the last finale of season two, Doctor Who, I asked for my friend, can I have your number? He gave me his house number, I rung him up after the show, and put it to that, we never shut up, ringing each other, and then I stayed said to him can you um can you sh have you got a computer pc he said yes have you got n he said no but i can make one and then we, we could talk on there on microphone it wouldn't cost us any money through talking on the phone and then Going down into 2007, June, well, I think it was before then we were thinking about it, and he said, what's making you, he sent me a video, it wasn't that good, it was just a, 
a duck with a duck two thing. He said, oh, I said, how do you make that? And he said, you've got something called Movie Maker on your computer. I thought things like this was you have to pay a lot of money for. And then he, showed, he told me what to do and I was hooked. And then he said, what's go on this thing called YouTube? Wow. You, I signed up on the last day of March on a site called Pet Sandy. Something went wrong. I forgot the password on the first day. <laughs> I did put some videos on that. I don't know if it's still around Pet Sandy anywhere anywhere now these days, but it was I forgot the password on that. And the next day I said I can't get onto Pet Sandy. So I couldn't think of something. And then about that year time, there would have been things like Pirates of the Caribbean. It was a popular thing at the day. And I thought, what's called my site? Pirates. <laughs> Pirates. But I didn't spell it right. <laughs> but me being dyslexic made a mistake, or by mistake, made I copied and pasted it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And wow, that was born. Plorats. Plorats. Plorats, not Plorats. Plorats. Up until. Up about, until. About 12 and what year was it? 2009. Was it nine? I don't know, about 80s, maybe? No, because we were still doing it, weren't we? Yeah. Was it 2005, 7 we started? It depends how you started. Yeah. We think we might finish about 2009 ish. And we did like Sinking Doctor Who, well that's my friend Ali, did he have a account called DalekCon1? Because at the time, Series, series 3 of Doctor Who, no, Series 2 would have been finished, Series 3 would have been going. So, one of the Daleks from Series 2 and 3 was called DalekCon, no, <coughs> DalekCon. But he couldn't put it as that, so he put Dalek Con 1. Show. So he did his singing, doc singing Doctor Who. I did singing Daleks with a piece of. Well, just a picture with some paint sprayed on it. <laughs> but um, me um, moving the pictures in the right places when the song was. when they were actually singing the song, it was more difficult as it is. Away, oh, I know, I know. No, don't get the, the old archive. Yeah, carry on. Um, about 2005, let's go back a bit now because it made no sense. Since I haven't got a computer at the time, um, I actually got my first computer from my friend Carl. He said, I got a computer, do you want to buy it for £50? It was a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse. And he lives down at hill. Where he lives, I live up a hill. So, instead of just getting a bus, we carried it. <laughs> actually, it's in a trolley. 